How do you deal with separation anxiety if your parrot screams and squawks when you come in or leave a room? Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Fawn. Please be sure to get your copy on Amazon. I have over 20 species of parrots. I love parrots and I love having a blissful bond with my parrot. If that describes you too and you want to learn how to create a blissful bond through their diet through understanding them and providing what they need then you're in the right place if you've already set your preferences and you're used to hanging out thanks for being here let's get started Separation anxiety generally boils down to not having a tribe. A parent is calling for you because you are the flock and they want some attention from you. I don't have that problem because most of my parents are in pairs. This is River and she is one of the only exceptions because she just refuses to admit that she's a green tree conure and is positive. She's positive she should be with us and we're positive that there's other things we need to do. Parrots are accustomed to having a flock. Here you have the clutch of babies. I was so thrilled that my Kaik parents had for the first time. And you can see all four are together. They're in physical proximity. Look at that. There is safety and security in numbers. When your parrot is screaming, one of the things that's going on is they are looking for that tribe, for the companionship, for the love, for the caring and that safety and security in number. Now, some of it comes down to the kind of parrot you have. Amazons, for example, are known for screaming, macaws too, in the morning and in the evenings. There's, I'm sure some getting around that. Not all Amazons are like that. Not all Amazons are like that, but for the most part, if you have an Amazon, that's the way they are, macaws too. So one of the best things you can do is if you have a parrot that is giving you some screaming, you're going to need to really take care of their insecurity or figure out what's gonna make them happy. Oftentimes it is having a second parrot. Ah! Hi babe. You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside with Cammy? When a parrot has their own parrot, just like you, they're more blissful. And they keep each other company. They make each other happy. Um, you know, they really take care of each other. Now, if you only have one parrot and you're not planning on getting another, um, you know, it's kind of a tough thing because the question that was submitted to me was like, how should, should you wait a certain amount of time before you walk back into the room when they're screaming? Should you not? You know, it's tough because they're calling you because you're their flock and they're saying, hey, I need something. I need my my tribe. I need my group. And that's not an unfair thing. They aren't having a tantrum. They are expressing um, something that's wrong or off, which if not taken care of, it can get worse and worse. So for me, the easiest way to solve the problem is to have two. If that's not an option for you, then, you know, I think that that makes it difficult. I think that you're going to be doing some trying to make up for their not having a flock and a cage, someone, you know, another parrot in another cage next to them is second best. That's better than not having any other parrots. But otherwise, I don't know if it matters how long you wait because um, they will eventually get used to it or pluck their feathers and have a problem. But, um, oh, hi. But see, they just, one thing about parrots is they're curious about us, they wanna be with us. And so there's just no getting around that. They are programmed and they are made to be with their flock. I don't think waiting to go in and say hello is gonna make a difference. Don't eat my phone. Hi, beautiful girl. How are you? How are you? 
I'm surprised the other one hasn't flown over here. So you ah. can wait before going in, but ultimately ah. until, here, step up. Come on. Step on my, there you go. But until they kind of adjust, which may or may not happen, they may or may not adjust. Uh, I, if I were in that position, I would really try to talk to my bird. I would really try to explain it to them. Oh, no, I'm just giving you a pet. This one doesn't like pets. She's the petter. That's the petty. So she doesn't like pets. Um, so I would I would try explaining it to my bird. I would try spending as much time as I could with my bird. You don't have to be engaged with the bird. Your bird can just be hanging out with you. They could be on a perch. Um, but the more that you're just with them, that's what they're after. Don't forget, they're used to 24-7, uh, generally speaking, with their flock. Thank you for the wonderful question. I hope that you're creating a wonderful, blissful bond. And if you have any questions, you can um, always post below or comment. Love to hear your comments. You can also try Tink's Must Have Parrot Relief, which is CBD and hemp oil. However, that doesn't make up for the lack of a flock. That can help balance if there's an imbalance or support your parrot. But there's just no replacing having a flock. So here's to you and your flock.